Hey YouTube and uh, car people. Uh, today I thought I'd show you guys how to... Uh, you guys can see that. Put this down here actually. I was going to show you how to uh, unlock a uh, Hypertech programmer. So this is a Hypertech programmer that's been VIN locked that you might have bought used on eBay or secondhand someplace on Craigslist or something like that. And it's been married to a, a different vehicle. So, um, so this is for educational purposes only. And um, I mean, I, I recommend buying uh, this thing retail because uh, you support the people that actually write the software and uh, make these uh, cool tunes. So, um, I actually happened to get this from a friend that truck got flooded. So the ECU got the whole truck was destroyed. So. Uh, this program wasn't going to any other truck, so this is just for educational purposes, and highly recommend you give them the money that's due to them because, like I said, they uh, make some pretty cool software, and the tunes cost time and money. So uh, hopefully you will support Hypertech, but this is just for reference. But okay, so the first thing you need to do is download their uh, tuner update application. Um, by the way, I, I work in IT and computer science all day long, and I mess with electronics and fix electronics. So, this kind of stuff I'm, I'm used to. I mean, I deal with it all day long. So, so the first thing you need to do is get a. Um, this is not called micro USB. It's called a mini USB. And inside of this device, the uh, programmer. So first, install the software. So it installs the the USB drivers for this HyperDeck programmer. And. Um, I put it in the USB. You obviously hear Windows uh, detect the USB and go in. And yeah, I start getting power on the uh, Hypertech program. I start doing this little thing and firing up and loading the firmware. Okay, so from here, it shows a serial number on this thing. Um, all right. Okay, so when you when you do the flash procedure, um, the way this thing unmarries the car is that it erases the whole flash. It, it totally. I've already I've already updated this program, so it's probably not going to update it. But when you do the flash update or update the software on the device, it erases everything on the device. So it erases the previous software, the VIN locking, whatever. Um, so if this thing actually is, you know. If you do this and you've taken this from off another car, you can no longer restore the tune, factory tune back on the original car. So if you're trying to do this just so you can actually program multiple cars, just keep in mind that the original car this thing was locked to, you can no longer go back to the factory tune. So just a heads up on that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a tools and I get tuner status information and it's doing its thing okay and then it came back with another window I don't know if you can see that but there's another window there with a bunch of information um, So let's go back and do a close this and do an update tuner. Okay, so what it's telling me is uh, I haven't up I haven't done this for a while, so it's gonna download the latest version of this tuner update software and I'll come back. So um, I gotta update this tuner application first before I do the uh, update, so alright, let me try. Okay, we're back. So the tuner op software had to update. Um, I guess I wasn't really expecting that, but uh, so I, since I've actually updated this thing pretty recently, there might not be a new updated tune. Um, but this is typically the procedure I would go through to get this thing unlocked. So right now it's going to check for an update, and I mean this is not exactly the fastest program here, so it takes a while.
Okay. Okay, it says... Okay, it says my tuner has the latest firmware, but... Um, Alright, so from here, basically, what you're hoping for is to do a flash update. So, I mean, hopefully your, your device is not updated the latest software because you might have issues. So, um, you basically want this thing to do a firmware update. So, once it does the firmware update, it's going to erase everything and you'll have basically like a brand new programmer. So, but uh, any questions, let me know. But uh, this worked for me. And any questions, let me know.